Welcome to Sunday morning at the United Church of Gainesville. Whoever you are, wherever you are in life's journey, we are so glad to have you with us today. My name is Bradley McClenaghan, and I am one of the ministers here at UCG. This morning's service is a full one, not in terms of time, don't worry, so much as in terms of the embodiment of what makes this community so lovely. We begin with prayers of the people and then hear a wonderful rendition of one of my favorite modern folk rock songs, Rivers and Roads, performed for us by the Reverend Andy Bachman and two of his three amazing children, Stella and Judah. We then hear from the Reverend Talia Raymond, who shares a children's story and message about making home wherever you are of making a way out of no way. UCG member Sanford Berg shares a reading from the book of Isaiah, I preach, and then we sing from home. If you want, this is my song, a hymn just right for the culmination of a big week of emotions and decisions for the United States. Thank you to Larry, Mark, and Tanay for the gift of their musical leadership. But before we begin all that, two things. First, today is the last day of our enlistment campaign for 2021 in, at UCG. Now, no, we're not asking you to sign up for military service, not that kind of enlistment. But rather, we're asking you to join the ranks of those supporting the congregation through your gifts and offerings financial and of time and talent. We are close to our goal and are so grateful for that, particularly in a time which is challenging economically for so many. Many of us are facing uncertainty in our jobs and our incomes and are anxious about what is ahead. If you can't make a pledge, please consider just letting Catherine Cook in the office know what's going on, even if vaguely and without details. If only so, we can stop bugging you or wondering if this is your passive-aggressive way of telling us how you feel about our efforts. If you can pledge and just haven't gotten around to it, please do. Our work in the community and as a church family depends on having the resources available to support our staff, our building, our programs, and more. Okay, secondly, it's been a big week in our nation, a big week for many we love. Will you join your hearts with mine in prayer? Source of life and love, we lift our hearts in prayer, joining our voices with one another across the distance, united in our hopes and concern for one another. We pray today for Holly Prue, undergoing treatment for breast cancer, for healing and strength and courage. We pray for an anonymous individual undergoing surgery, for a skilled medical team, wise healers, and good outcomes. For Mary Clark following a PET scan, for clear results and a path forward. We pray for Alan Kitt following the death of his wonderful wife Ruth last week. We pray with gratitude for her life, for her marriage to Alan, and her love for her family, for all that she was. We pray for her light to continue to shine in everyone who loved her. We pray, too, for our nation in a time of transition. Grant our leaders a wisdom and our neighbors peace. Plant in each of our hearts and lives a vision for a just society, a beloved community. We pray this day in the name of the one who breaks every barrier, whose love empowers our own work for justice. Amen. Yeah. 
universe till I reach you. Bro.